So today we'll be discussing on a topic that is how to outsmart technology and we have our esteemed guest with us Mr. Jitesh Chaudhary. I'm your host Jyoti Patel and let's start. So sir, can you tell us that many of the people are wondering that technology is everywhere, we can't escape from it. So is this really helpful or how it is uh, related? So I have 13 years of experience in uh, working with multiple organizations and I have not seen that any time there is something new as a challenge whether it is a technology or a people transformation or any transformation it doesn't scare uh, it's a sign that something new is there and we have not completely figured out uh, how to use it appropriately okay. this is not very different from when we changed from um, a usual phone to a smartphone or become from a messages and letters to uh, whatsapp uh, so there is a change, uh, technology speeds up the uh, pace of change and uh, it is inevitable. The, the, the way to look at it is, is that whether you can really have a competitive advantage by imbibing or going away from the technology. There will be huge cost. One of the primary things that every organization, every individual is trying to do is how to get more with reducing the cost of effort or the, the, the absolute cost of it. Uh, it is impossible to do at a scale uh, in, in, in the uh, customer base that is there without technology. Uh, and that's why there is no other choice. Like if I have to communicate to a global organization like, uh, like mine, uh, it is very difficult not to include technology to make that successful in the entire cost of collaboration will be far far more higher take a very simple example that when we moved from uh, communication platform to the new latest platform of slack and uh, teams and zoom it is significantly reducing the cost otherwise we have to conduct in person physical workshops traveling so many people making arrangements for their hotel stays and all technology does that at a cost of a fraction and if you are not imbibing it you have to identify at the end of the day every technology tool uh, whether it's an ai it's a tool right and the tool itself cannot do the idea is that what you do with it you can write uh, with a pen for learning you can poke somebody with that pen if you have a knife you can cut somebody or you can operate somebody for their well-being so you have to understand very well that what is the appropriate use of it yeah, AI in terms of the scale at which uh, the change it brings is very very broad and that's why uh, it touches upon uh, um, jobs uh, which might be eliminated but there will be new jobs that will be created so I think an assessment is much more important on to, to look at the benefits of it and then see whether uh, there is a competitive advantage because the way the new organizations are growing mm -hmm and the aspirations that individuals have and the organizations have, you cannot achieve that without technology. Can you really consider putting uh, humans on Mars? Upgradation is necessary. Can you really think that uh, humans on Mars is possible without imbibing technology? So, and doing more at a less cost is a competitive advantage in itself and it is not possible without technology. Okay, so we can't escape from it. You can escape from it, but then you have to give away growth, competitive advantage, so what you are achieving, why you will give away a good tool? Okay. And many of these students in the MBA are afraid of technology because they have not used this before. Many of them are not from that background, so it is, it will really hamper their position or capabilities. Anybody gets scared whenever there is a change is coming and that's why MBA does highlight the importance of change management and in the entire change management you will see two parts one is that to highlight that there is a assessment going on when we are trying to identify and um, measure the risk but yeah the initial it starts with apprehension uh, think about before you coming to the college you were have a lot of questions to identify whether this is the right college for me or not is it really the return on value in terms of placements those questions were not wrong it is a the fear comes naturally and the fear comes with questions that needs to be addressed so all the MBA students should be looking into is that okay 
uh, what AI is highlighting a lot and which creates news is AI and new technology has a lot of potential to eliminate what is done traditionally which means it will eliminate a lot of jobs but you have to also understand that what are the new kind of jobs which does not exist can you really believe that 20 years back somebody was thinking that without having a formal job uh, you will be earning handsomely look at what podcasters youtubers social media influencers have done and there was a lot of apprehension but i don't think um, the apprehensions initially will not happen that is part of the process uh, look at the benefit the kind of investment government of india has made for digital literacy has never achieved what whatsapp was able to bring right the uh, about the the ability of the our previous generation to identify marriage alliances was not to the uh, ability that the new age matrimonial alliances brought through technology so definitely any change looks inconvenient and that's why it brings a lot of apprehensions and talking about apprehensions is is more that the media gets consumed for one of the social media norms that we have that is observed is that negativity is and fear is is distributed far strongly than an uh, a pragmatic or a approach that tells about the facts the facts unfortunately are not a very shareable content as much as the negativity around it important is to know that is a emerging idea as well but look at the opportunity what needs to be learned as a skill uh, for example if the because we are using technology for uh, or uh, a mini process we have already started what we are finding is that what ai is speeding up is that the first draft of anything uh, the idea to execution uh, in terms of digital innovation that i manage used to be a pretty high because you have to uh, put things into place before you are able to do a proof of concept what ai is able to do is that that is giving in minutes because it is able to give a whether what are the pitfalls of potential pitfalls of this poc might not work so it allows you to be more prepared mm -hmm. and that's where and you are building on something otherwise could have been your so if you are creating a letter after 10 iterations you read somewhere but in if you using chat gpt or open ai you find that that is the first draft that you get you're going to make the top of it right so your outcome is going to be better in lesser time so that is the only way if you consume anything that comes through ai and not improve upon it that's a way to escape you should take because all the technology are sharing that it is not built on facts these are language models these are learned models means they are learned through the historical inputs but we are looking for solving a existing problem or a future problem so the element of creativity becomes very important to look at the best outcome that comes and improving on the top of it and sir as you mentioned that we are getting the things in seconds in ai so many of the people nowadays are using ai maximum people are using ai so is this hampering the our human brain because we are not thinking we are just going to ai for each and everything we are just depending on ai and tell me some examples where as a like, student you are as a student i am also using it for assignments or if i have to write any small email also i am just going to ai i am writing that and he's giving me uh, chat gpt is giving me all the content so it is hampering our situation or it is enhancing so the method is hampering for sure because you are going with what chat gpt is giving you hmm. but are you looking into the facts and improving upon what the chat gpt is You're going to the references and finding whether this is picking up just uh, random information or this is factual because uh, if many times chat gpt gives information if you go back and you check that does not exist it is a language model right so it is just another maybe it's a technology which has more brain power doesn't have emotions so it can formulate learning from different ways and create a story so it's a kind of a storyteller it is not a very factual storyteller so if you are consuming that definitely you are harming yourself the creativity comes is to evaluate check and build the top of it you are getting your first draft at you for example if you uh, where was this possibility for example uh, if if i look at 10 year to 12 years back when i was doing my mba uh, we were given giving philip kotler your marketing student right yes sir. so we used to be given philip kotler and the way we used to be given assignments was that you read that particular chapter there will be some questions and they will be answering it you know what chat gpt allows you it allows you that can you act as philip kotler give me questions 
I will tell my solutions and you evaluate that. So now you are having a conversation and in that conversation you can open another tab and you ask what are the potential learning point uh, that I could have learned from Flipboard like if I have certain questions right like this interview questions uh, if you feed into LinkedIn information this is how the profile looks like this is how your social media profile looks like if and, 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 and prepare me questions that might be interesting as well as useful to me. They'll provide a list number of and questions. And it will be done in a very small period of time. Yes. Right? As a student you have your homeworks to do, your classes to attend and that leaves. So creativity does not mean that you have the entire day. So it allows you to do your core job but whatever take multiple iterations. It can done fast but then you have to build on the top of it. Okay. Nothing progresses if you are not improving whether it is so if the technology and learning giving you answers and you are not so if the technology and learning probably you have to learn a lot his, his its technology that the, any technology that is learning and giving outcomes becomes a condensed way of learning for you so you have to build on the top of it so you have to do smart work over there more than smart work it is a creative work how to, so if you i give you a stick Right? There is limited use, but if I give you two sticks or three sticks or ten sticks, you can create marvelous arts. Right? If I give you one paint, yes. only white color if I you give, you will bring a road signs. But if I give you twelve colors, you can make a rainbow. Right? So the tool is amazing. The tools, generative AI in terms of a tool, that possibility is amazing. What we have not figured out and the industry has not figured out and the, it, it's still in the process of figuring out how to make most of the useful tools. Sir, while I was going through your profile, I came to know that you've worked with various industries, you're having various uh, backgrounds, you're also a stand-up comedian. So, how you manage all those things? So, you know, MBA is a very, um, it, it, it's educational but it is exp expensive as well. Hmm. I don't think that any other education before MBA is as expensive as an MBA. So, there is an educational loan that comes. So the first job that you are looking for is definitely you are aspiring for something that is you can closely relate to um, and because it is your first job so you are excited as well but over the period of time you find out that some gap is our brains are amazing to identify gaps yes. and you know that something is not giving me that level of satisfaction that I wanted and what I found is that I don't process, I, I love conflicts. Um, um, it started with conflict, looking at others' conflict and then also having some conflict of mine uh, in terms of managing a project uh, or, or, or some of the stakeholder conversations that happens. What I found is that it is very limiting when you are taking very negative way. So one way is that how should I have a conversation with myself that the, if, if my initial impression is that something wrong happened, but can I make a joke out of it? It is liberating to me and when I share it liberates others because a joke always gives laughs only if the other person is able to connect with you. And that's where you get to know that most of the events that makes us like why this happened to me and this, it's like a fever for which Dolo is there. Everybody is going through it and everybody can evolve from it if they are ability to take it light. And I got some very good friends um, who always uh, came back telling that you have a very different perspective on this. Uh, so one of the coping mechanism because every job will have its own challenges. You are paid that is because there is a challenge. If it was so uh, entertaining you will be paying right like movies or play tickets. Yes. So job has its own challenges but those challenges become experience worth sharing and when we are sharing why not to share in a way that it allows people to take that particular thing much lightly and that also helped me to go through entire thing which otherwise at times is uh, very difficult to process why it happened to me why the situation why I didn't do this for example I when I remember for the first very difficult uh, task or project that I was doing the, the, the first project or task I was doing and it was far beyond my capability but I don't know why my manager felt that I can do it and she was expecting it very quickly. You know I cried at my desk in front of the entire thing right and it's very embarrassing. But then when I re relied is that uh, probably that is the day I gave up but the rest of the days also I would have very close to crying. When I shared this the most elevating it for the students right 
who felt it multiple times and they are bombarded <laughs> with things that they don't understand assumed particularly it happens with mbas that they are assumed that you have paid so much so you have learned fantastic things and uh, yeah uh, that allows to uh, see things in a very fresh way and that's a very refreshing when it comes to how to manage time yeah it is damn difficult because when you are doing anything repeatedly you are making time for it you have to identify where i can cut down my other activities and that's where you realize that you are cutting down on the activities which were not productive in even like binge watching we all have challenges with phones being in our hand for multiple yes. times uh, i reduce that so it's 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 healthy and refreshing that's why i stick to it